Hey, welcome back to Bulls Country here today. Uh, it's November 23rd. Gun season opened up uh, November 15th. But uh, anyway, excuse the appearance. I ain't even took time to shave in the last few days. Uh, I did hunt two hours this evening. I've been going after it pretty hard. I really ain't been that lucky. My 15-year-old son, he did shoot a four-point buck last week. He hit him with a bow, hit him in his heart. My older boy, he uh, he's put down a few deer. He had most of his on the ground all before gun season opened. But anyhow, I'm just gonna do a short little video today. I figured since I'm cooking some of this venison up, I'm cooking a couple front shoulders off of a not too big of a deer. Uh, I believe this was off of a, a young buck. So the shoulders, people usually grind them up as burger because they're tough. Me, I haven't cooked a lot of them in the past, but I was just doing a little looking around. I mean, you guys can. And I'm going to try my own little version of this. What I've seen people do one online. Uh, one common thing people will do with the front shoulders, that a lot of people will char uh, sear them on the grill. But me, I'm just going to do it. I'm doing it in a frying pan. I'm going ahead and searing the, the shoulders on this in the frying pan. You know, the front shoulders, like I said, a lot of people take and have them turned into burger or they'll grind them up. Well, I guess a lot of guys just throw them away. But uh, you know, what I'm gonna try to do is give this a whirl, try to make these shoulders cook them like a roast with a little spin on it. Uh, like I said, the common thing I've seen, people like to char them on the grill serum and then what they'll actually do they'll wrap them with bacon or they'll cut bacon up and they'll put in the bottom of the pan before they before they uh, do their their bacon their roasting of it but I don't have any bacon all I got some sausage I'm not gonna do that and so all I'm gonna do is go at it without any pork fat venison's very low in fat it's actually Venison has 50% less fat than beef does. For you, those of you that don't know that. But okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kick my burner off. I'm gonna make this little video, get these pork shoulders off in the oven. And uh, it's actually, it's 9.25 p.m. But what I'm doing is I'm throwing these in the oven and I'm gonna cook them on 250. I'm gonna cook these things for 12 hours is what I'm gonna do. And then tomorrow when I pull it out of the oven, then I'm gonna do my little recap video, kind of like, we'll see how they turn out, you know? Uh, see how it looks. But anyways, I've just put a couple short vlogs up. I ain't really been playing much music. I've been trying to hunt. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these, these venison shoulders. I got my burner off. Get a look at it. Ah, damn it's hot. Okay, there's one in. So I got them seared fairly decent. I like, I'm happy with the searing of them. You know, this was off a of young deer, like I said, man, you know. God, I'm gonna, what am I going to do to straighten my pan out now? It was treated. I should be good. I'm not going to put cold water in it right away, I'll tell you that. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to have this video, like I said, just a short one run through because I'm going to cover these and I'm going to see how they come out and what they look like tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to cook them overnight. It's 9.30. I'm going to get up at 9.30 in the morning. I'm going to pull them out of the oven and I'm going to uncover them and they're going to be done. I'm not cooking for the rest of the day. But we're going to hit it with some seasoning stuff real quick. I'm just going to go ahead and toss a little. This is just plain seasoned salt, okay? Now, you know I'm no master chef. I just like messing around. Everybody likes to. Can't tell. It don't look kind of pretty. It's not all that hard to do. Anybody can cook. But, you know, me, I love wild game. I always have. Here's some minced onion. I, you know, I got fresh onion in here. I got a little bit of fresh garlic clove in there. I'm just throwing what I have on hand in it, you know. I'm not running after no special recipes today. This is just complete seasoning, I guess. This is 
this is just a little mixture of probably a little bit of celery or seed and some basil, who knows. And then I'm just going to throw some regular salt in there, hell with it. So I believe I'm seasoned up good enough. And then what I'm going to do, I'm not going to throw these in the oven, just cook them dry. Oh, uh, stay right there with that. Yeah, here we go. This is just some regular beef broth, all right? And I'm going to put them on here. And I heated this broth up because they don't recommend you putting any cold. You know, room temperature, you might be all right. But you don't want to put no cold stuff over your, 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 your warm meat, you know? I, I'm not no pro at this, but uh, it's just stuff that I found on my own. A little bit of reading that I've done. Uh, so now I knocked all my seasoning off that. You just seen that, didn't you? Off the meat. I don't want that. I want some seasoning on that meat. I'm just going to hit it real fast just with a couple things. Uh, the garlic and the seasoned salt. Ain't going to hurt it. You want it. You know, a lot of people... You know, they, they want them to knock the gamey taste out of stuff. They say onions are best to do it, I believe. So, but you know, real fast, what I got thinking, I looked over behind me a minute ago, and I seen I had some apples on the counter. And since we know, oh, damn, what I do with my knife? Give me one second. Here, I'm coming. All right. You can get... All right. Alright, so what I'm going to do real quick, I mean, sure, this is going to look pretty, make the garnish look pretty, I'm sure, but uh, what I think I'm going to try to do, this might give this venison a little apple taste, you know, you got the vegetables in there, so heck with it. I see these apples sitting on the counter behind me, I'm going to go, and I was like, oh, I know what I'm going to do, and you know, I'm sure it's not going to ruin it. So, you know, what the heck's a little apple flavor going to hurt in the taste? So, you know, tomorrow, we'll get this venison out of the oven. Uh, by the time I get it in, this is killing me. It'll be 9.45 p.m. Now, the seeds ain't going to hurt nothing. I don't, I don't care. You see, I'm not a real... Uh, stickler for the rules anyway. Well, I think if you know me, uh, eh, you might know that. So, here we go. I'm going to put three apples in it. I put, I put two red apples and I put one green apple in here. And you know what? Sure, the vegetables and the fruits making it look pretty. But, uh, you know, from what I see of it, what I hear of it, People say these uh, these front shoulders are actually good when you cook them down. So the only thing, I just sent someone to the store for that beef broth and uh, you know, wouldn't you know it, they only had one. So it kind of needs two. So I was gonna get my, uh, I'm not gonna cover it for you guys, I'll show you that. I had my aluminum foil real close. Where the hell did it go? Oh my god. How many minutes am I at on this thing right now? Nine. Nine? Oh my god. Alright, so you know what? I'm gonna cover it with the with the tin foil. Cause this is what you're gonna remember your last look of it looks like. No, I'm not gonna cover it. This is silly. This video is ten minutes long. I gotta do a recap. So the pan ain't hot. I'm just throwing her. Here we go. So tomorrow, when I bring her out, it'll be covered with that foil. So uh, that's at 250. So there's some venison front shoulders. I have fun doing this. I ain't gonna lie. I know some of you people are laughing your ass off at home, but you know what? You can laugh all day at me because I really don't care. I ain't got nothing more else to lose. So anyway, there it, there it is. Tomorrow, right now it is 9.30, so it was 9.25 when I started or whatever. 
she's in there. I'm gonna bring her out, cover her up. I'm gonna leave it on 250. So at uh, 9:30 a.m. tomorrow, that'll be 12 hours, and we're gonna pull this venison out and get a look at it. And uh, outside of that, just happy Thanksgiving to everybody. But Thanksgiving Day, I'm gonna be chasing some deer. I don't know what you're doing. You guys can chase turkey, but I'm chasing deer. We'll see you.